Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install shaders into RLCraft and this works for any mod pack, I'm just showing out RLCraft as it's the most popular and therefore I assume the most people will uh, be looking for it for that mod pack. Um, so the first thing you need is Optifine, so if you want to head to optifine.net forward slash downloads, you'll end up on this website here. Um, for RLCraft, it is currently, <laughs> I said that a bit weird, sorry, uh, for RLCraft, it is currently on Minecraft 1.12.2. So you want to scroll down and find this one, Minecraft 1.12.2, and you want to click download on this. It'll probably take you to an, another website where it has the ads. Yep, this website here. So in the top right, this is where the skip button will show up. I'm just walking you through this so that you don't get uh, lured in by all the ads. So you click the skip button, and then it sends you back here, and you can click download, and it should ask you where you want to put it, and you can just save it. And there you go. Your one won't have this little one. Mine's just there because I've downloaded uh, downloaded Optifine quite recently. Um, next thing you need are the shaders themselves. Now, I use the CUDA shaders because I know for a fact they work. So if you want to follow this tutorial uh, spot on, I'd recommend using these as well. Just so that you know that it works, then you can try uh, swapping them out for different shaders as you see fit. So head to shadersmods, shadersmods.com forward slash CUDA dash shaders dash mod. There should be a link in the description, but if you want to search it up yourself, you can. Then you want to scroll all the way down. Well, not all the way, but about a, a quarter of the way through, and you'll see this. Download links for CUDA Shaders Pack. What we want is the continued version, which was last updated in 2018. It is the CUDA Shaders version 6.1 Legacy. So you want to click on that, and then it should open up another tab. And then you want to click this blue button right here that says Download. And that should be the one. And as you can see in the top right, it downloads. And once again, mine has a little one because I've actually downloaded the shaders quite recently as well. Next up, what you want to do is load up CurseForge, or if you're using a different launcher, you can load that up too. You want to make your way to the mod pack that you want to add the shaders to. So I want to use RLCraft. You want to press these three dots if you're using the CurseForge launcher. You want to go to Open Folder, and this should take you to the directory for your modded Minecraft folder. In particular, for this mod pack, it's RLCraft. Uh, and we want to make our way over to the Mods folder. Inside the mods folder, we want to put our Optifine. Once you find your Optifine download, which should hopefully be in your downloads folder, you can right click it, you can click copy, then go into your mods folder, right click again, and click paste. So you should see Optifine uh, 1.12.2, verify that it's the same game version, is in your mods folder. Uh, if you're using the CurseForge launcher, you can find your game version right here for the specific mod pack, because some mod packs run on different Minecraft versions. So just double check. Once you have the Optifine in the mods folder, you can go ahead and launch your game. And then once you're actually in the game, you're able to add the shaders. So I'll click play, I'll load up the game, and I'll be back to put in the shaders. All right, once your game has loaded, what you can do is go ahead and click on options, go into video settings, and you should now see a shaders option right here. You can click on that. And then here is the option for shaders. In the bottom left, you can see a shaders folder. Mine's cut off a little bit because I'm not in full screen, but you should be able to see it just fine. Click on that and it will open up another folder. And then what you want to actually do is go to your downloads, grab that shader zip that you downloaded, and drag it into here. So we're going to grab our CUDA shaders, version 6.1 legacy. Right click it, click copy, right click in the shader packs folder that opened up. You want to click paste, and there it is. Now if we click back in the game, you can see CUDA shaders version 6.1 legacies here. Now when you click this, it's going to lag for a little bit. What you can do to uh, check to see when it stopped being frozen is just hover over uh, these options on the side here and see if they light up uh, because if you start clicking the screen to see if it's uh, responsive your game could crash So what you want to do is you want to click CUDA shaders once like I have right now and then oh it, it looks like it's happened instantly Normally it does lag quite a bit. So th that's a surprise for me and other mod packs um, We're gonna click done. It, it seems to be working fine. We'll uh, go into single player We have a world that we've previously been in uh, I checked it out. We're, we seem to be in some snowy area with some really beautiful trees, but um, a, about a million yetis. So I don't know much about this mod pack, if, if I'm completely honest. It looks quite fun, but also I think it's an adventure mod pack, which I am not quite used to. All right, we're not responding. Oop, now we're responding. We dropped in. The world's loading around us. As you can see, we have some beautiful shadows. Um, oh, we have some structures over there. The footsteps are really loud. I apologize for that. Let's just turn the sound down for you guys. Um, and let's see. Is this water? The water looks a little bit different. 
But uh, this is the game with shaders on. Um, if we head over here, I think that blue stuff isn't actually water. There are those yetis. Um, I don't think that's water. I think this is... No, well, this is ice. It's like ice water. You see that? It has like the shader effect as if it's water, but it's actually ice. Huh. I, I did not know enough about this mod pack to tell what's different, but um, here's the game. Let, let's see if we can get a nice little thumbnail going, right? Oh, why is it like smoky over here? All right, well, this mod pack scares me. I, I think this is a nice, beautiful uh, little, little vision here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If this did help, please do let me know. You can see there's shadows there caused by the sun, which is up there, which is very cool. Um, we, we're obviously in the mod pack. Oh, wow. What is this? Some wings? <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If it helped you out, please do consider subscribing. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. It looks like my character's freezing. Because apparently that's a thing as well. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.